Rebuilding Hope is a nonprofit ministry designed to assist in times of disaster relief and to help with local projects with people that are not able to, to fix their homes for themselves. So we help the, the elderly, the handicapped, those that just have a house that becomes run down that we try to go and repair it. You know, just offer people hope in, in a time of distress in their lives. When you meet the people that you're trying to help, they have no hope for even just the, the simple basics that we take for granted. Just having running water in your house, of having floors that you can walk across and not worry about falling through, about not worrying if the rain's coming because it's gonna be leaking on your bed. And to go in there and offer these people a very real and tangible service and a way that they can feel secure in their home, I think it really then opens up the door for you to be able to share the gospel of Christ with them. If you were to go out on the street corner and just start preaching, most people are gonna turn the other way, but when you go in there and offer someone a very tangible means of help, something that they really need, they're much more willing to listen to why you're doing it. And we do it because of the love of Christ for us, that he's made such a great sacrifice on our behalf that as Paul says, we're compelled to preach the gospel. Some people do it with words and we like to do it with actions as well. And to be able to get in there and, and really show people the love of Christ. We're admonished time and time again in scripture to, to care for the poor and the needy and the orphans and the widows. And so we try to, this is how we try to fulfill that mandate from Christ. Well, Rebuilding Hope is a good name for itself because I've thought about it and that's what it's done for me. It's given me more hope that I'm gonna be able to continue on with my own life in a way that uh, will be healthy. My kitchen floor had to basically be completely torn out and it's been replaced. Polybutylene plumbing affected walls and plumbing has been replaced. I've got uh, damage in the bathroom that's been repaired. The kitchen basically, without my knowledge that it was that bad, a wall was real bad. All that repair work has been done. All the rotten stuff's been removed and done. I've got more work going on in the days to come. <laughs> Rebuilding Hope has sent me a bunch of, uh, sometimes it seemed like 15 young people uh, to help me and my boss gave me a hug and told me, you know, that's a blessing from God. And I know she she's hit the nail on the head. We was in the tornado in 2011. Everybody was coming to our doorstep wanting us to sign papers and do this, do that. I never had met Jim Boyd before that day. Jim has proved that he was with Rebuilding Hope. He said, we will come to build you a new home and without a payment uh, with it, that God sent him. And uh, so God sent him. Uh, th that's the only thing I can say, that God sent uh, rebuilding hope to us, because like I said, I never met Jim before. You know, it, it was unreal, but uh, God protected us in the tornado. Um, he could took our lives like he did a few others, but he didn't. But Jim approached us with the house plans, and I told Jim that there's different things in the house that we particularly wanted. We bought it because I didn't expect Rebuilding Hope to do everything. They've done a lot by just giving us the house. Any of the any of the uh, people that are in need, we, we can go out and we and we can help them, and we can um, give them some hope to um, you know to continue uh, living. And that, that's the thing is that uh, a lot of people get so depressed and so down when, especially with a home that's crumbling around you, it's hard to wake up every day and see it, the massive amounts of work that needs to be done and not be able to, to fix it, not be able to do anything about it, whether it be finances, whether it be physically. Um, and so for us to be able to go in and, and do some work that would give them, take a weight off of someone's shoulders and to give them a fresh outlook, uh, give them some hope uh, to continue on, that's, that's what we do. And that's the best way I can explain it.